Education Galaxy presents Representing Two Variable Equations. Two variable equations can be represented in a variety of ways. We can represent it in a verbal description where we describe a situation that represents two unknowns. Or we can represent it in a table where the two unknowns are listed with multiple possible values. Or we can write it in an equation. The forms of the equations that we're going to focus on in sixth grade are the form y equals kx or y equals x plus b. Let's look at an example. First, let's take a verbal description. Marco owns a total of y dollars selling x ice creams for a rate of four dollars each. X and Y are the variables. Y is the number of dollars she earned and X is the number of ice cream she sold. So for the equation, we would calculate how many dollars she earned by multiplying the rate, 4, by the number of ice cream she sold, X. So we get Y equals 4X. When we make a table, we want to list possible values. So for every X we list, we want to multiply by 4 to get the Y. If she sold two ice creams, she would make four dollars. Four ice creams gets her sixteen dollars. Six ice creams get her twenty-four dollars. And eight ice creams get her thirty-two dollars. Now for the graph, we want to plot the points from our table. So we get two eight, four sixteen, six twenty-four, and eight thirty-two. Let's investigate each type of representation now. Which situation can be represented by the equation y equals 52x? Before we read the answer choices, let's think about the equation. Our variables are x and y. 52 is the rate, and x is the number of 52s being repeated, so y is the total. So now let's read each answer choice and look at which ones match. A restaurant makes a total of y pizzas at a rate of 52 pizzas per hour for x hours. Y is the total number of pizzas, 52 is the rate, and X is the number of hours. That matches our problem, but let's check the other answer choices before making a decision. A restaurant serves a total of Y meals in one day, in which 52 meals are served during the first hour and X meals are served during the remaining hours. In this answer choice, 52 isn't a rate anymore, it's just one time number, as 52 meals were served just during the first hour. So we can eliminate this answer choice. Next, we have, a restaurant serves a total of 52 drinks every hour, with X of the drinks being iced tea and Y of the drinks being soda. But this answer choice has 52 as the rate, but now X and Y represent part of the whole. But y is supposed to represent the total, not just part of it. And x shouldn't be a part either, so we can eliminate this answer choice as well. The last one says, a restaurant prepares a total of y batches of spaghetti sauce from 52 pounds of tomatoes, with each batch weighing x pounds. Here, y batches weighing x pounds would be y times x, not 52 times x. So this answer choice is wrong too. So we can officially say the first answer choice is correct. Now, let's look at a problem using table representation. Which table shows only values that represent the following relationship between s and t, where s equals t plus 5.4? We need to find which table contains a list of possible values. Let's take the first five on the table. If we plug it in for t, we get 5 plus 5.4, and that equals 10.4. That narrows it down to these two answer choices. Now let's plug in 7. 7 plus 5.4 equals 12.4. That means this one is our answer. For every t, the table adds 5.4 to get the s value. Next, let's look at a graph problem. The graph shows the number of points y a player earns in a balloon game based on the number of balloons the player pops, x. Which equation best represents the relationship between x and y? Let's take a point on the graph. We can take any, but let's take this one, 2, 50. The x value is 2 and the y value is 50. So let's plug it in and see which equation is correct. 
Does 50 equal 2 plus 25? Does 2 equal 50 plus 25? Does 2 equal 25 times 50? Or does 50 equal 25 times 2? The last one, of course, 50 is equal to 25 times 2. So y equals 25x is the correct equation. Remember, two variable equations can be represented in a variety of ways, including verbal descriptions, equations, tables, and graphs.